First, though, a 96-year-old woman cheated out of thousands of dollars in News 6's uncovered investigators believe Orlando City Commissioner Regina Hill may be involved in this. This is News 6 at 5. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Ginger Gadsden. Florida Department of Law Enforcement investigators believe Regina Hill used that money to treat herself to a facelift, a trip to Miami, and more. Now, that woman's attorneys are fighting to keep Hill away from her and her money. News 6 investigator Eric Sandoval spoke to Commissioner Hill today about the allegations. We found out the Florida Department of Law Enforcement was actually tipped off about this last year by a former aide of Regina Hills who was fired from her job. They've spent the last year looking into this and they tell us their investigation isn't over yet. New Six got a hold of these investigative documents that claim, among other things, Orlando City Commissioner Regina Hill fraudulently established power of attorney over a 96-year-old woman. Investigators say that power of attorney allowed her to secure a mortgage in the woman's name and co-purchase this home in the Lake Man Estates area of Orlando without the woman even knowing about it. They say Hill then allowed her son and his girlfriend to live in it. They also claim Hill moved into this house about a mile away in the Washington Shores neighborhood that was once owned by the elderly woman's parents. They claim Hill used the woman's money to renovate the inside and didn't pay rent. FDLE investigators also claim that Hill used more than $100,000 of the woman's cash and credit cards to purchase things for herself, like expensive perfume, clothing, IV vitamins, a facelift, a New Year's Eve trip to Miami, car insurance, and dental surgery. Now, the woman is fighting back. Her attorneys filed court papers seeking to keep Hill away from the woman's finances and her property. And an Orange County judge approved a temporary injunction last week. We called Commissioner Hill, and she picked up. I'm calling to see if you want to talk to us or do an interview with us today about the allegations against you. She didn't want to comment and referred us to her attorney. We asked the city of Orlando and the mayor's office for a comment. Spokeswoman Ashley Papagni said the city has been made aware of the injunction involving Hill. They are not part of that injunction and they don't have any details on the allegations related to it. Now, very important, Regina Hill has not been arrested or charged with anything yet. And again, FDLE says that they are still investigating this. Of course, we're going to be watching to see what happens here. Outside FDLE headquarters in downtown Orlando, I'm Eric Sandoval, getting results, News 6.